This is how women are seeing their men off to the war in Ukraine in the Rostov region. The recruiters confess the Russian authorities hand out summonses to literally everyone. They don't give concessions to anyone. What can I feel? Look, you can't escape anywhere from here. If it has to be done, it has to be done. Who has been getting presents for February the 23rd, defender of the Fatherland Day? I've got two children, a wife, a mother in her old age. There will be no one to look after her. I've received a summons at my workplace, and they've sent me to war all at once. No medical board, nothing. I had been diagnosed with hypertension after my first military service, but they didn't care. They just sent me here, that's all. According to the operative information of the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine, the Russian invaders are forming battalions from the recently mobilized men and sending them to the combat zone. On September 26th, seven tanks left from the Donetsk region to Liman, two of which got into a road traffic accident right on the march. The ex-platoon commander of the Aydar battalion, Yevhen Dikai, says that Liman is now one of the hottest spots on the front line and the encirclement around the group of Russian occupiers is almost closed there. It seems that these Russian groups have very little left. In fact, there is already a question whether they will try to escape from the already closing pocket at last moment, like from Izum, again abandoning their equipment, abandoning everything, but at least withdrawing their personnel. Or they will risk fighting in the pocket, but then perhaps we will significantly replenish our exchange fund of prisoners of war. This is a column of the Russian prisoner transport vehicles in the Saratov region. According to Yevhen Dikai, the ranks of the Russian army are also replenished by prisoners who are used as a human shield by the military personnel of the Wagner Group in Bakhmut. The members of the private military company Wagner put former prisoners in front of them, whom they had allegedly recruited as employees of their company. However, Wagner personnel does not use them on an equal footing. They put the former prisoners as the human shield before them. And of course, this shield gets killed completely and Wagner professionals are advancing behind it. The offensive of the Ukrainian forces is advancing every day in the Kherson direction, but not as fast as we would like them to, says Dikai. The bridges across the Dnipro are under fire control. The enemy's logistics are very problematic, but still they try to send barges with new replenishment of the ammunition and people at night time. As we joke about them among us, we call them Kharon's barges because to a very large extent they carry soldiers to the kingdom of the dead. But these Haron's barges sail there at night, and still some kind of supply of ammunition continues, so their grouping is seriously and desperately snapping, so that Ukrainian defenders have to take literally every square meter with a fight. According to the operational department of the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine, thanks to the successful actions in the Slobozhansky direction, the Ukrainian military has liberated more than 1,000 square kilometers of the Ukrainian land and has established their control over the 50 settlements. But the Russian occupiers continue to fire at civilians in the settlements of the Kharkiv region, which borders the territory of Russia. Our military is keeping the defense and replenishing the exchange fund of prisoners of war among the recently arrived mobilized Russian soldiers. This is my third day of serving. I saw the commander on the first day only. They didn't give us any food, nothing. Everybody has left. We were hiding in the basements. Everyone was confused. I decided to go abroad, but then I was captured. If you want to leave, don't come here at all. The Russian invaders continue to suffer losses. The number of killed soldiers of the Russian army is approaching the mark of 60,000 people. According to the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine, there have been hundreds of wounded already in recent days only in Starobilsk, Luhansk region. According to updated information, the enemy has lost more than 40 people wounded and about 15 killed as a result of the fire defeat of the Russian occupiers in the Sofievka, Berdyansk district of the Zaporizhia region. Moreover, there are more than 200 wounded Russian invaders who have been taken to the medical institutions in the city of Starobilsk, Luhansk regions, in the recent days. The Russian invaders also suffer losses as a result of attacks by the Ukrainian aircraft. Pilots of the armed forces of Ukraine hit strongholds, dozens of ammunition depots, as well as anti-aircraft missile systems of the enemy. Reported by Dana Kolesnik, Natalia Belokudra, UATV News.